One of the biggest lessons I want you to take away is knowing how to prepare a speech. The reason being is that far too many individuals go on stage or go and deliver a presentation just by winging it. And what does that mean? They're ill prepared. They have not done any background research on the audience. They don't know exactly inside out what the end result is they want. And that makes them look bad on stage. In fact, you end up losing credibility that way. So what I want you to take away from this lesson are two vital, vitally important lesson uh, factors. One is knowing how to have a clear objective. And secondly, what I call the triangle formula. So if you start off with the clear objective, what do I actually mean by that? So when you're preparing a speech, I want you to know exactly by the end of your speech, what is the end goal? What do you want the audience to really take away, to really learn from your message? It could be about any subject, anything, but there are two vitally important things that you want the audience to take away. One could be some form of emotional change. So what does that mean? An emotional change, you're probably motivated, inspired, moved your audience to the message, to the story in which you're sharing, making them feel much better leaving the event than at the time in which they entered the event. So that's an emotional change. The second element could be a call to action where you want to, perhaps you're raising money for a charity or you're looking to guide people towards your website for a specific service, anything and everything. So you at least have a call to action in after you've delivered your presentation, you want the audience to go in that direction. So that's what you call having a clear objective and an intent that by the end of your speech, this is what I want the audience to have felt or to do, right? Secondly, it's about that what I call the triangle formula. Now this is where it gets interesting because a lot of speakers, why they end up winging it is because they don't implement the triangle formula. So what do I actually mean? You can see there are three elements as part of the triangle formula, the speaker, the subject, and the audience. So you're the speaker, right? So you as the speaker, I want you to ask yourself, how much do you know about the subject in which you're presenting? So it could be anything from social media, it could be marketing, it could be finance, it could be performing or presenting about a project you've been running. How well educated are you about the subject? Because what you don't want is for the audience to be more educated on the subject than you. It makes you look a little uh, off-putting. It makes you look like, what sort of value are you adding? And that links nicely with you as the speaker and the audience. So you need to do as a speaker with the audience a bit of background research. So who are, who are they? Where are they from? What is their level of intellect? How advanced are they in the subject in which you're presenting? And why this is very helpful is that it allows you to establish a bit of understanding in terms of what is the value add you're going to add to this audience because if they're more advanced than you, is this really your audience? Should you really be presenting in front of them? Now, second, the third point is about the, the subject and the, the audience. So how much do they know about the subject itself? You can see these are all interlinked. So when the audience knows so much about the subject, you need to either A, a advance yourself or B, sometimes be honest and open and honest with yourself and step back. Because even if you want to, let's say, step up and become a professional speaker, speaking to an audience who are gaining no extra added value from you, it makes you look bad and you lose credibility. But even if you are somebody who does not know as much of the audience, maybe perhaps you can provide a unique twist to the subject. Perhaps you've done your own research. Perhaps you have a unique perspective and a unique idea about an existing subject in which the audience is already an expert at, but your, your aspect of it gives a new dimension, a new twist to the existing subject. So all of these play a critical factor in how to prepare a speech. So when you take that on board, I want you to be that person who gives speech preparation enough time, enough energy, enough thought so that you are adding value to the audience and that you know the audience well enough and you don't end up winging it. And what I want you to do is to be able to download the task sheet and actually complete the task so that you know you can how to prepare a speech. You set a clear objective and then you do a bit of research into the triangle formula for your upcoming event.